G'day guys, Mark here from Nine Empire, and in this episode, we're throwing a bunch of parts at this little UC Tirana in preparation for the Adelaide Auto Expo. Alright guys, so we got the little Tirana in the shed, ready to go. We got a heap of stuff here from Raceworks. We're going to pretty this thing up, ready to go for this week's Auto Expo at Adelaide. Um, so we're going to throw a heap of parts at this car and get this thing finally dialed because it's never been quite right since the day we got up the road. But today's the day. We've got Raf here from MCSA doing a bit of footage as well. Um, yeah, so let's get stuck in this little Tirana. So one of the things I want to do to this car that I've been needing to do since day one, really, is change the carby. It's got a big old um, 750 uh, spread bore thing on it, and it's got the biggest flat spot in the world. We couldn't get it right. Realistically, it's over carbied. Um, so we've got a brand new quick fuel uh, 650 VAC secondary carby to go on, and also a bunch of new road outer fittings, um, throttle assembly, air breathers, uh, overflow cans, that sort of stuff. So. Um, yeah, we're going to get stuck into this and hopefully get this thing looking and running better than it ever has before. Alright, so making some progress on the Tirana, it's been a bit of a slog, I've had a few little issues where I didn't ask, I didn't order correct parts, um, and I decided that I wanted to run a spacer under the carby, so I need some extra carby studs, uh, I need to get some longer carby studs, so that's come off again, but yeah, overall, a lot of stuff's happening, I finally got an overflow bottle for the radiator, where I just had like an old water bottle that I found to be rubbish, <laughs> to get us out of trouble. We've got the battery clamp all in place with Optima battery, uh, a new negative cord, so I'm happy with that because the other one was a bit of a dodgy one that I made. It wasn't dodgy, but it 
wasn't right. That's all locked in place now. I've got the heat proof ignition lead uh, covers on so I don't burn through. That was a bit of a tight fit on this. And uh, I was confident that I had the leads away from the headers, but I'm glad I got them on there just to make sure that I don't have any melt through issues and don't have any arcing. Uh, yeah, it's all coming together. Got the rock cover breeders in place now. So yeah, look, it's looking really good. A few little things left to do and then this will be ready for the show. All right, now the carby is all ready to rock and roll. Um, one quick tech tip, uh, one quick tech tip, one quick tech, one quick tech tip. Although I'm not qualified to tell you guys this, when you are using these sorts of uh, aluminium fittings, a lot of fittings nowadays come like this, you wanna get one of these. This is a specific uh, aluminium made wrench so you can do these fittings up without damaging them. If you were to use a normal spanner, like metal spanner on those, it will damage these uh, fittings. So you wanna get one of these and make sure that all your fittings stay nice and mint like they look right now. Oh yeah, here we go. One of these studs is a bit dodge. Well, actually the, the manifolds are touch dodgy. Oh, but we're in, we're in business. Old parts. The new parts are no problem, the old parts. That's the problem. Lovely. Nice. Ah, I forgot the gasket. Standard. Ugh. So I got the gasket on now. Now I'm four bolts, one fuel line, and a little bit of fuel away from firing this bad boy up. Super stoked to get this new carby on. Look how nice this is. The new carby bracket. Got the new carby cable assembly. Oh, that is nice. Way better than the old one. Something kind of rigged up on the day to get it working. Done the job, but this is this is the, the bee's knees. This was just a second handy that come out that come on a little burnout Corolla so who knows how old that thing was this thing brand new good as gold Now, one thing I am not gonna get done this time round, and it hasn't been done in the past, is the fan. Um, it's not wired up to like a temperature gauge. It is simply on or off. So as soon as I have ignition, I have fan. So it's not really ideal, but it's better than not coming on. So at the end of the day, all it can do is make the, cold, the car run colder. Um, one thing you wanna bear in mind when you're putting these fans in, um, there's only two wires. You can either get it right or wrong. It changes the way the fan spins. So pretty basic stuff. I'm going to turn it on. You can hear it turn on. It's pretty quiet. And now I can quite easily feel this on my hand, the way it's blowing. But if you want to be sure, put a bit of paper on the radiator. If it sucks to the radiator, you know it's going the right way. If it blows it away from the radiator, it's going to be fighting the wind as you drive. So it's another little tech tip. I'm going to tidy up a bit of the wiring, clip it all away nice and neat. 
We're getting really, really close. All right, so the last couple little things left now. I've just replaced the air filter for the first time since the car's been on the road. So that was probably due. I'm just putting on this washer bottle. Now, this then had a washer bottle on it since it's been on the road as well. I still need a little bit of hose, but at least I'll get the tank in place. The original mounts are a little bit narrower than, than the uh, ones on this tank. So rather than drilling new holes, which I didn't want to do, being pedantic, I made a like an intermediate bracket. So this bracket bolts to the factory holes, and then this bolts to the new bracket. So that way we're not drilling holes for the sake of it. If we ever decide to go original for whatever reason, there's no ugly holes in the engine bay. And looks mint. She done. All right, you'll see it's already ready to roll. It's running. Definitely isn't tuned yet, but that's going to be it for this weekend. We're going to get it down to the Wable Showgrounds for this show. We better see if it drives first. Let's go. drive up and down the road I think it should all be pretty sweet most of it was just remove and replace stuff uh, we'll get out to Dave Lee race engines in the next couple of weeks and get it tuned up but for now out of the box this 650 should run hopefully better than the 750 anyway at least we've got it all done all that's left is a detail and get it down to this show let's get hit the road make sure it doesn't fall apart Alright guys, now that is a wrap on this week's episode. We're finally set up here at the Adelaide Auto Expo. Always a massive turnout. Super pumped because this year there is a bunch of new cars that I haven't seen before. Um, so yeah, really keen to get around and have a good look around. Um, happy with how the stands come out. Happy with how the cars looking. Drove them in. Super happy with that. I have to once again say a massive shout out to the boys at MCSA for doing some filming on the uh, Tirana. You have to check out their channel. I'm hoping they're going to get a bit of footage from this um, event as well. Also, if you're interested in any of the bits and pieces that were used in this car, this build, I'm super stoked with all the quality, absolutely pumped. TI Performance uh, has an extensive range of all the bits and pieces that I've been using. So follow the link below for any parts that may suit your car and your future build. Now that's going to be it for this time around. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out the online store. And I will see you all on an upcoming episode of The Iron Empire. Cheers, guys.